so I'm at my parents' house and uh, I've been experimenting with herbal teas and I found this combination which is really good. So I'm using peppermint and chamomile and this is hibiscus with rose hip. Good quality, good quality tea. So it gave me a. You can't say it's herbal tea. It's as if you're drinking a a, a caffeinated tea, and uh, a little bit of trickle, which is you know uh, like honey, but it's taken from uh, the palmara or the coconut. Or a similar palm. Mm -hmm. So it's Kitul Trikal. Trikal is uh, it's a Sri Lankan thing where it's it's not honey where the bees collect nectar. It is straight. You cut you cut the flowers of the the coconut or the palmara uh, flower and and it it trickles down to a uh, like a coconut shell. A cup made out of potential, and then that's how these are collected. So I'm in Sri Lanka, just at my parents' apartment and uh, I came here about a month ago because my, my dad was not well, he was in hospital. So both my parents are getting older now, my dad is 91 and my mom is uh, 86. So after flying to Colombo, I went straight to the hospital, stay, stayed three nights with him and then, then came home. So we live we live in these apartments over there and uh, I'm still living the life that I'm trying to live between a monk and a householder but living in concrete jungles really doesn't agree with me I love nature few few years ago I changed my life to living in nature and being in nature I find that all, even my all, all my health problems physical problems whatever may manifest will just get dissolved they won't they won't manifest themselves but whenever I I come to Melbourne and live in live at home or I come here to Colombo especially especially Sri Lanka and if I live in Colombo I find I find it very hard it's mainly because I can't live the lifestyle that I'm live, living usually under trees in nature and I miss all my spiritual friends, my Kalyanamitrayas, my meditation friends, and we lead a similar lifestyle. So here, everything is more materialistic. People are more materially uh, oriented, which is normal. I used to live that same lifestyle before I discovered my spiritual path. But as my parents are getting older, I might have to uh, live more time, I mean stay more time in Sri Lanka and then go back to Australia, recharge myself, uh, travel in national parks, be with my friends, uh, live in nature, do wild swimming, wild camping, sit intensive meditation courses and recharge myself and come back. So this is a rather unusual blog from the blogs that I have done just letting you know what I've been up to and what I've been doing so I also published my new book uh, which which has been going on for ages I've been writing so originally I had written something like 23 chapters but incomplete 23 chapters I thought if I kept on writing this book would never come out 
So what I did was I took the biggest chapter of that book, uh, which was about my heart attack, and I made a book out of it. So the book doesn't have many pages, something like 43 pages, but still I ended up publishing a book. So I, I published it on Amazon and you get the paperback version as well as the Kindle version. I'll put the link below. I'll also show a photograph of the book. It's called, I was thinking about the themes funny, like you write a book, you have the title, but still sometimes you don't remember the title, <laughs> which is unusual. So the book is called, When Severe Pain Became Profound Peace and Tranquility. It's about my heart attack experience. And if any one of you all are interested in buying the book, please go ahead, it'll help me. But this is not an advertisement, this is just to say, give that message. Uh, and also to let you know that I've accomplished the book that I've been writing for a long time. I, I was able to make it a reality. The, the message in this book is basically how I survived my heart attack and how important meditation is for me and the lifestyle that I lead and in what kind of delusion we live in this modern world, caught up in this eight to, eight to five game and uh, doing one thing after the other about that. Now I've written in my blog, but I've totally modified all this and wrote this book. I just took some footage at home. My wife Ola is also here at the moment and also my son. Uh, I've been getting a little bit burnt out because uh, like I said I'm, I'm used to living in nature and living that life but here in a concrete jungle when that's not my thing. So I came to the pool today to have a cool dip. Just remind, just remind myself of how, how, how I used to do while swimming uh, in Mossman Gorge or in tropical North Queensland or Tasmania wherever I live. Uh, in my car, just jump into the pool water early morning. Of course, that experience won't be there, but there'll be something. I'm not able to do any footage of it. I'm just, just letting you know. Thank you guys for helping me, supporting my channel and all that. May you have peace in your heart and please enjoy this video. Bye for now.